okay so this is my third java tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to go into words in java like wh what kind of words are there if you have a programming language obviously it has words it's just like a real language so it has to have words so in java you have something called keywords which are nothing but words that have already been defined in java for example the word class is a keyword the word public is a keyword the word void is a keyword the word if is a keyword other than keyword you have identifiers all other words are identifiers suppose you need to name okay before that does everyone know here what a variable is i'm sure we you all have done algebra so you know what is a variable so if you know what a variable is for example you have x in common algebra so you have variables so now let's say you need to name a variable in java you need to have a variable that stores the sum of two numbers let's say you have a variable called sum which stores the sum of two numbers so let's say that variable is called sum right so this variable sum stores the sum of two numbers so to name that variable there are certain rules certain conventions that have been followed what are they now the conventions that are followed are basically if you are naming an identifier the name has to start with an alphabet it's very simple it can be of any length you can name your variable sum you can name your variable sum of numbers whatever you want it can be of any length and it cannot be a keyword now what this means is you cannot have a variable called well if you can't have a variable called if and every variable is of a certain specified data type for example you can have an int variable remember data types from the last video so int which stands for integer you can have an integer variable called well let's say sum that is perfectly valid you can have an integer variable variable called if true but you can't have an integer variable only called if because if is a keyword for that sole reason okay i hope you got that okay now other than that there is no other convention followed those are some of the rules and now some of the conventions that are followed are that a class name always starts with a capital letter so if you have to have a class called let's say a class called i don't know hello so the h would be capital that is what they mean to say so that is classes and the last thing which i want to discuss now before my next video called functions now the job of a function is to do any job now i know that sounds funny but a function is just there inside of a class to do a specified task and give you a result so if you want to calculate the sum of two numbers 3 plus 5 so you have a function to do that you have a function called add which adds and gives you the result so that's all about functions and in functions the function name should start with a small letter but the class name should always start with a capital letter variable names normally start with a small letter and another thing is every subsequent word when you are coding suppose you have a class called or suppose you have a function called well square and this a here will be capital 
Suppose you have a function called square and circle. So every new word has a capital letter. Okay. So I'm I guess that's enough for this video. I hope it helped. Have a good day.